Wow, this is amazing. Shall we go in for a closer look? I think we shall. Oh yeah. Oh, hello sir. Sorry, didn't see you there. Yo, this is insane. Look at this. These guys went all out. Man, it's kind of sad though. I mean, when I was a kid, you know, you would see the entire block decked out in Christmas lights. And look at this. Barely anything until you get here. Yeah, certainly not how it used to be. Oh, but it's gorgeous. Wow. Welcome back to Freaky Guy Productions. Oh, Christmas. A time for partying, a time for being generous and charitable, a time for caroling, a time for drinking more than you probably would any other time without feeling bad about it, a time for watching Christmas specials, a time for decorating gingerbread houses, a time to don our gay apparel, a time to exchange gifts, a time to snuggle up close to a loved one by the fireplace, a time to rock out to Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. And if you're so inclined, a time to honor the birth of Jesus Christ. This is Christmas. For as long as I can remember, Christmas has been my second favorite holiday, if not tied with Halloween. For this video, instead of reacting to a video, I'm going to be discussing my favorite things about this holiday, as well as sharing some of my favorite Christmas memories. So let's talk presents. What have been your favorite Christmas presents? Personally, there are three that come to mind. Unfortunately, I don't still have most of them, so I can't exactly show you them, but I can show you images through the power of the interwebs. So one of my favorite Christmas presents was a Batmobile, specifically a toy model of the Batmobile from the 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie. And this is what it looked like. It fired rockets and it was amazing. And you could fit your little, you know, Batman and Robin action figures in there. Man, I wasted many hours of my childhood playing with that thing, and it was entirely worth it. One thing I found out later in life is that Canada was entirely sold out of that Batmobile toy, and therefore my mother had to go to the United States in order to get one. She drove all the way to Syracuse to get me that Batmobile. When she told me this later on in life, I asked her, are you insane? To which she replied, I just wanted to make you happy on Christmas. And isn't that what Christmas is all about? My second favorite toy was Castle Grayskull. As you can see right here, it was a massive castle to store your He-Man and the Masters of the Universe action figures. At the time that that toy came out, it was one of the hottest toys on the shelf. It was almost as popular, if not just as popular as Tickle Me Elmo. So, once again, this was a hard item to find, but she managed to find it in time for Christmas. Now for the present I still have. I'm not sure how many of you have played this game before, but if you grew up in the 90s, odds are you did. And that game is Candyland. I have a lot of fond memories of playing that game, and I remember the first time I played it was at a neighbor's house. Then I asked for it for Christmas. And I got it! So, as for some of my favorite things about Christmas, you know, I actually do like the Christmas music. Especially where I work. It's actually a welcoming change to hear it. Because the music we play all year round, well, let me put it this way. It's the music that my workplace can afford the license to. So yeah, not, not top-notch quality music at all. Not even close. I also enjoy the Christmas treats, sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies, candy canes, a little pastry named nuns farts in English, but French Canadians know it as pet de sar. I also enjoy meat pies drowned in ketchup. 
There were a few Christmas parties in my childhood, quite a few Christmas parties actually, almost annually, and the Christmas parties always seemed more special in my childhood for several reasons. There was a very festive atmosphere in the house. There was a visit from Santa Claus. Usually it was one of my uncles playing Santa Claus. I mean, like, he had a pot belly and he already had white hair, so I mean, he could really sell it. There was an annual tradition of opening one present at the party. Perhaps one of the main reasons I enjoyed the Christmas parties was because I knew it was the final act before opening the presents on Christmas Day. Come to think of it, I do remember as a kid thinking, man, this, when is this party gonna end and I'm gonna go to bed? Like any other kid, I want a Christmas now, not later. Decorating a Christmas tree. I have a lot of fond memories of decorating the Christmas tree of my sister and father. Building and decorating a gingerbread house. That was both frustrating and fun. But the most fun came from eating it afterwards. And yeah, I pretty much always ate it right after building it. Now, I don't really have an elaborate story to tell about my favorite Christmas memory. I never had a brother who went off to war and then came back just in time to celebrate Christmas with everyone. But I would have to say that some of my favorite memories involve my father on Christmas. I remember him sitting next to the Christmas tree and passing the presents to everyone. I remember when he used to play Santa Claus at the Christmas party. I would always recognize him, but I would tell myself, this is Santa Claus, even though deep inside I knew that it was my dad. I suppose as a child, you always want to believe that Santa is real. Unfortunately, my father is no longer with us, but I'm sure he would want me to have a Merry Christmas regardless. This concludes part one of my Freaky Guy Productions Christmas special, The Warmth in a Cold Month. Be sure to tell me in the comment section below what was your favorite Christmas present and what your favorite Christmas memories are. Now, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a comment in the comment section below, share it on social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and if you haven't done so yet, Subscribe. Merry Christmas.